Men are often slow to appreciate changing trends with fashions. There isn't one who doesn't experience a twinge of pride when he looks at the post-war achievements of the British aircraft industry. Because the growing requirements of the industry have placed a heavy burden on government research equipment, de Havilland, for example, have constructed and now operate their own low and high speed wind tunnels. The good behavior of modern giants of the air remains of the utmost importance even at their slowest speeds. The smallest detail is noted when a model Comet 3 undergoes a stability test in the low-speed tunnel. Driven by a 500 horsepower electric motor, a 12-feet fan provides the motive power, producing air speeds of up to 170 miles per hour. mechanical balance directly above the model can be adjusted by an operator at the control panel to record simultaneously all six forces and movements, such as lift and roll, experienced by the aircraft. Another invaluable instrument is the multi-tube manometer, which records pressures on various parts of the model plane. To cut building time and reduce costs, the high-speed tunnel is driven by three jet engines instead of by the conventional electrically driven compressor. In the high-speed tunnel, air is sucked past the model by the ghost engines acting as induction pumps. As the speed of sound, Mach 1, is approached, the tunnel shock wave is building up. The marked meter gauge measures speeds which make the sound barrier seem like ancient history. The tunnel shock wave is building up. Soon we shall see it pass the model. With the sound barrier broken, a speed of Mark 1.6, equivalent to 1,220 miles per hour at sea level, will be reached. An exciting symbol of this progressive age. <laughs> 